Now I'm going to discuss how we would look for a new law. In general, we look for a new law by the following process. First, we guess it. Then we com so don't laugh. That's the really true. Then we compute the consequences of the guess to see what, if this is right, if this law that we guess is right, we see what it would imply. And then we compare those computation results to nature. Or we say compared to experiment or experience. Compare it directly with observation to see if it, if it works. If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. And that simple statement is the key to science. It doesn't make a difference how beautiful your guess is. It doesn't make a difference how smart you are who made the guess or what his name is. If it disagrees with experiment, wrong. That's all there is to it. Suppose that you invent a good guess, calculate the consequences, and discover that every task consequence that you calculate agrees with experiment. The theory is then right? No, it is simply not proved wrong. Because in the future, there could be a wider range of experiments. You could compute a wider range of uh, consequences, and you may discover then that the thing is wrong. That's why a law like Newton's laws for the motion of planets last such a long time. He gets the law of gravitation, tackling all the kinds of consequences for the solar system and so on, compared them to experiments, and it took several hundred years before the slight error of the motion of Mercury was developed. During all that time, the theory had been failed to be proved wrong and could be taken to be temporarily right, but it can never be proved right because tomorrow's experiment may succeed in proving what you thought was right wrong. So we never are right, we can only be sure we're wrong. <laughs>